Yo, what's up guys? My name is Danny Lum, and this is a day in the life of a mechanical engineer. I graduated from Stevens Institute of Technology with my bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering. Since then, I've been working full-time as a mechanical design engineer for the past two years. My position recently became full-time remote, and I am loving it. There are so many different kinds of mechanical engineers, but my focus is in design and 3D printing. Before I start work every day, I always check on my 3D printer to see if the job I ran overnight had failed. The worst feeling is waking up to a failed 3D printed part in the morning, and it's all spaghetti. No! At 9 a.m., I start my work. Usually, I'll start the day by checking and answering all my emails while eating breakfast. Once that is done, I'll start designing in CAD unless I have some meetings. Hey, Dan, what's CAD? CAD, or Computer Aided Design, is a 3D modeling software that engineers use to design components on the computer. Basically, it's a really good way to plan out the details of your design before you make it. You can actually run tests and see how your parts interact with one another before you spend money on actually making your product. This is a side project I did where I actually designed and 3D printed an Apple AirTag housing for my friend's dog. Basically, I recreated the Apple AirTag in 3D space and designed a housing around it. It's a two-part housing that snaps together. This software gives me a really good idea of how my design will work before I 3D print my prototype. This project was super fun and it worked great. Poppy won't be running away anymore. When I'm not working on my designs, I'm usually in meetings discussing the project with other engineers. This is usually other mechanical engineers, thermal or electrical engineers. As a mechanical engineer, you'll often be working with engineers of different disciplines and you'll all be weighing in on how to optimize your design to make it the best possible product. Around 12 p.m., usually I take my break for lunch. Lately, I've been trying to learn Russian and Duolingo, and I'll usually do that on my lunch break. I haven't missed a lesson in over a hundred days, and frankly, I'm a little scared of what that bird will do to me if I do miss a lesson. Now let's talk a little bit of how I got to where I am in case any of you are interested in mechanical engineering. Ever since I was a kid, I loved being creative and I especially loved math and science. But it actually wasn't until I saw the first Iron Man movie when I was like, holy crap, this is it. This is what I want to do. My main goal is actually to become a mechanical engineer and build my own Iron Man suit. And you'll be glad to hear I'm actually 3D printing my own custom Iron Man suit to bring this dream to a reality. I love how the suit is looking so far. I 3D print the parts, sand them, and paint them to resemble the suit in the movie. The rest of my channel is actually all about that project if you're interested in checking it out. So in college, I was really lucky to land some awesome internships. For one of my first internships, I worked for Avon and I 3D printed bottle cosmetic prototypes. My next internship was at Mattel Fisher Price, and this was awesome. I basically got to play with toys all day. I built a wall climbing RC vehicle that actually climbed walls, and it was fully equipped with glowing LEDs. And my last internship was at Smart Design, where I got to design kitchen gadgets for Oxo. My internships really helped me focus my interest within product design and development. It's how I figured out that I want to be a mechanical design engineer at my current job. Now it's time for a little, little caffeine break, you know. Lately I've been making some matcha lattes, these things are so good. Smashy. Let's talk about what I mean when I say I like to bring my products from concept to completion. In the concept phase of your design, you brainstorm as many ideas as possible. This is to try and come up with the best solution to solve your problem. You should be asking yourself questions like, what are the requirements we're designing around? Who is the customer and how should we design our product to best suit their needs? Once you move forward with your design, you can begin to prototype and test your idea using 3D printing and other techniques. Usually you'll keep doing this and making small changes until you're ready to go to the last phase of the design process, which is manufacturing, where you produce large quantities of your product and ship them to the customer. In all of this, you're trying to balance costs and keep it under budget while maintaining schedule and making sure you're ahead of time. After sitting for most of the day, switching to standing helps me feel more productive. After I finish work, I like to hit the treadmill for some exercise. You're a sick. After dinner, I have about five hours to do whatever I want. Usually here, I'll do a couple things. I really like to sketch and I've been trying to do it for at least 15 minutes every day. I try to take inspiration from Pinterest of styles that I think are cool. I've always enjoyed drawing and I actually think it's a pretty useful skill as an engineer. It's really useful to have a quick way to communicate to another engineer how your idea is going to work. I definitely have a long way to go with sketching, but I think I've learned a lot by doing it every day and trying to grow. I've also been trying to learn Blender. So the design software I use for work is called a parametric software. Basically that means you build your part 
with features, and all those features are related to one another in a tree. Basically, that means if you were to change one small aspect of the design, it would trickle down and the rest of the design would be dependent upon whatever you change. It's a really good way to design so you can trace back your work and make any changes if needed. Parametric software such as NX, Creo, and SolidWorks are also really useful because you can be very detailed and precise in your design. Blender, on the other hand, is really great for creating organic and curvy shapes that would be otherwise hard to design in engineering software. Blender is one of the types of programs that you can use to design for animation or games. However, I'm trying to learn Blender in my free time because I really like modeling and 3D printing props. And I think if I were to learn Blender, that'd be a really great way to model really intricate shapes that would be hard to do in engineering software. Here's a Blender model I created of Aphelios is Gone from League of Legends. The geometry is really complex, and this would take me a really long time to do in an engineering software. Instead of designing with exact curves and dimensions like in parametric software, Blender lets you push and pull points to easily shape your design. At the end of the night, I like to play some video games and relax. Before I go to bed, I like to write down my goals for the next day. This helps me feel really productive and accomplish all the things that I want to do throughout the day. And that's a day in the life of a mechanical engineer. I hope this gave you an insight into what an engineer's day is like, and maybe even inspired someone out there to become an engineer. I really do love my job, and I think it's filled with a bunch of technical challenges that help you become a more creative problem solver. I think there's something really satisfying about being able to have an idea in your head, hop on the computer, design it, and then within a couple hours you have a 3D printed prototype sitting in your hand. I mean, that's awesome. It's especially cool when you go to the store and you see a product you worked on, on the shelf, and you can say, hey, I had a hand in making that. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, like the video, subscribe, and have a nice day.